coming up next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. Both fighters are 31, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Fanaway Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting corner this man is a kickboxer only a professional record of 14 wins three losses he stands six feet tall weighing in at 145 pounds fighting at a team let see georgia giga ninja chikaze You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. Ready. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus 12 round fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Nice kick. Tags him with the left. Oh, that hurts to watch, right, to see that type of volume to the body. Beautiful combination. And every single punch is thrown with intensity. Everyone is thrown to have
have dominating effect. And to this point, they've all landed. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Straight punch lands. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range to him. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. Dig and kick. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the lifting of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are lands. Oh, big knee! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. So, one or a minute to go here in what has been a competitive... Wow! Nice liver shot lands. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh! And now he's got the tight punch. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Round two here. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. This big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Big body lands. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, so another. Oh! He's out! He got him! Woo! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, he saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 13 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.